Hello and welcome. My name is Rob and this video is to demonstrate how to set up and begin using the basic 12 volt DC nanoparticle silver colloidal silver generator. And the reason we've identified it as a nanoparticle particle colloidal silver generator is because indeed uh, with tests run from colloidal silver produced in this process exactly what you see here you can find the images on the website you'll see that you'll be ape capable of producing silver nanoparticles from one nanometer to two nanometers in size so these are the items if you ordered uh, the basic 12 volt nanoparticle kit this is what you're getting in your kit if you ordered the silver rods which are providing you with the jar. Now we're producing this uh, video with a standard size jar because it's the most common um, as opposed to wide mouth jar order that we receive. So in your kit, if you ordered the add-on silver rods and you got the jar and you unpacked everything, this is what you'll have. All right, so the, the jar comes like this. Just go ahead and unscrew the lid. Mind you, this is the Silva cap, uh, which is our design, one that we've been selling now for two or three years now. And um, it's designed to allow air to agitate the water, thereby enhancing the generation of silver nanoparticles during your production. Um, I'll identify the components of the Silva cap here. These two small rubber supports are for your silver rods situated one inch apart, which is ideal for silver, colloidal silver production. This tube here with the rigid, clear NSF rated, hospital food grade rated PVC coming through here has uh, an opening for quarter inch vinyl tube from your water agitator, which in this case is, an, is a small aquarium pump to, to come in and to be installed. This hole here needs to be kept unobstructed so that the air that's pumped into your distilled water has a place to escape. All right, so the first thing you'll do is push your silver rods from underneath through the holes in the silver cap designed for the rods until about a quarter inch is showing through. If you need to do any adjustments because the rods may have bent or have pulled out of place, but this is, this is ideal, actually, for, for production. Pour the water into uh, your distilled water, into the jar, of course, first, and screw the lid back on. Next, go ahead Push the vinyl tubing from the aquarium pump all the way through the tube until it sticks out on the, at the bottom about a quarter of an inch. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, about an inch or so. Um, by extending the vinyl tube beyond the rigid tube that far, you'll ensure that the air bubbles are, are going to uh, be dispersed into the distilled water and not try to come bubbling up through the rigid tube. Then take your alligator clips from your transformer. By the way, this is a 12 volt transformer. My recommendation with 12 volts is roughly four and a half hours of production time to create a nanoparticle colloidal silver with roughly 25 parts per million in relative silver content. There's a lot of controversy over parts per million and regard, there's a lot of details about it. We use parts per million based on what a total dissolved solids meter can read, um, which in effect is not colloidal. So anyway, we, we just sort of use that process in, in, in our work. Go plug in, then the aquarium pump, and then plug in little old voltage transformer, and check your colloidal silver periodically. Um, but everything is secure and running, and you'll be amazed at uh, the quality of the end result.